guys. Welcome to another episode of Which Way with Jen and Jay. If you don't know already, this is our 2003 Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. Um, we got the thing in pretty bad shape, so we gutted it and did a full fit out on the inside. Um, today, Jen's going to run us through the fit out that we did and how we live in it day to day on the road. So we hope you enjoy the video. seat which also doubles as a bed so we've got this backboard here that we can put down in the middle um, and then we've got our extra cushion so this will turn into a single bed um, we've got our fruit basket and then underneath we've got our storage and then we've got this little strap to hook on here so this is mostly just our pantry stuff so we've got these little boxes here that we store all our stuff in so we can just pull them out it's our condiments got baking, extra cooking stuff, all that kind of stuff. So that's all stored through here. Then we move further back and we've got our toiletries and extra stuff. Um, and then we've got our extra bottles of wine, um, electronics, all that kind of stuff. So it's mainly just all of our storage stuff. So although we love our storage under here, one thing that we would change if we could, or we probably will when we head back home, is we'd love to put a drawer in here. Um, it would just make it so much easier to actually get in and grab stuff, but otherwise we love our storage. So for our foam here, we've got a 50 mil high density foam that we've um, had made up for us and then chopped in half so we can have the two pieces. And then we've just got our material from Spotlight um, and my mum helped me wrap this. So it was all on the cheap, um, but we love it. We can take off the covers because they've got zippers in the back and give them a wash because they do get pretty dirty. Um, but yeah, we love it. It's pretty comfy. Um, obviously not as comfy as upstairs, um, but we can sleep on it if we need to stealth. Through the middle here, we don't actually run too much. We try and keep this pretty clear so we can actually get in and out without having to move too much stuff. Um, so through here, we've got obviously our sound editing underneath. And then we've got a vinyl flooring. And then we just run the porta potty in the middle. It's just a 10 litre, easy to pull in and pull out. Um, and it just fits smack bang in the middle. And we do have a new addition, our little floor. Um, that's just a placemat that we got from Kmart. It's easy so we can put our shoes on there, wipe our feet off without getting our floor too dirty. And I sewed it. So as you can see, our colours in the troopy are very neutral, grey, kind of white tones. We wanted a really light, homely feel in here um, as we are living in here full time. Uh, we painted this in a water-based um, paint that we got from Bunnings, sand it all back and then gave it a few coats. Um, hasn't been too bad so far, so this is about a year and a half later um, and it's still going strong, so we're pretty happy with it. So another thing we have is obviously our lighting. So we've just got strip lighting up here. They're in a cool white tone, um, so it makes it feel really light in here. And they're just on switches on the sides. So you can turn them on and off pretty easy. And they're just running both sides of the troopy. So on this side of the troopy, we've got our kind of cooking station, fridge, and then our clothing. Um, so over here, we've got our 70 liter Dometic freezer so this side is our freezer it's about 30 liters and then we've got our fridge which is about 40 liters um, we're pretty happy with it and it's a pretty good size for us we have had to do a new addition with the sun visor um, we were noticing as it's getting a bit hotter up here in the room that our fridge wasn't staying so cold um, so we've had to put that up to stop any heat coming in um, normally the fridges do come with a bag that's pretty much like that um, but we didn't think we needed it so definitely something to keep if you are getting a fridge because um, you do notice that the heat comes in. At the front here, it's kind of just a little bit of a storage area. Um, we've got our travel aero press um, that we just keep there, bug spray, um, speaker, all that kind of stuff. It's just a bit of a storage zone. We've got our chopping boards and then a new addition that we've chucked in thanks to Alice and Jack, Van of Oz. Um, we saw that they had a knife rack and we were kind of looking for a way to store our knives that was a bit more accessible and obviously so we're not cutting ourselves. So we chucked this up um, and we've got our knives and scissors here and it's been so handy. Another thing we added in was just some pictures from Bowie and Ben. They're on Instagram. I saw them online and thought that they would um, suit our colours and be a really good addition to the troopy. Um, and it's just a nice little homely feel. So down the back of the troopy here we have all of our clothes storage. So pretty much all of this 
ideas for our clothes. So we got uh, the drawers and then we made a little handy door for this side to keep all of our other clothes um, in there. So we've just run in like undies and stuff and togs and then Jay's got shirts and shorts and that kind of stuff. So top's mine, bottom's Jay's. And then moving on down to the back, we've got a little cupboard. Um, we run extra clothes in here, like our main day-to-day -day stuff. Um, we've got these little storage cubes from Kmart that we then just have our little travel um, storage cases in so we keep everything separate inside. Just helps if you need to grab something out easy, it's all just in its own little thing. I um, mean you're not going through and chucking everything out. But that's pretty much it and we can just close it up. We've got these little handy clips that keep them all um, closed up, especially when going over corridors. Then underneath here we've got another little door pulls open and we've just got our winter clothes, um, extra sheets, towels, that kind of things that can all just get stored under. Um, as we run the porta potty in here, we don't really get in here too too much unless we really need to. Um, so it's kind of handy that everything's just tucked away. Don't really need to get into there. Um, and that's it for clothes. So on each side of the trippy and along the front, we run our curtains. We just got some material from Spotlight. Um, we probably go for a bit of a thicker material next time as it is just a thin linen. Um, and at night with the lights on, you can kind of see through. Um, but it blocks out some sun. We just run them all along, have little hooks that we tuck them away with, and then we can just pull them along. Also doubles as a little bit of a clothesline, as you can see the, the pegs and the socks. Um, we just hang up our stuff if it's really wet. So then the last little section of the inside is underneath here. So this is where we keep our cooking stuff. So we've got our main cooker, our Coleman cooker, um, little gas bottles, uh, saucepans, fry pans, shelf. Just under here. Um, so that's mainly just our cooking stuff. Easy to get to, um, and then we can just cook outside. So when it comes to cooking, we try not to cook inside um, unless we absolutely have to. Then we can cook on our little 360 burner. Um, we do prepare some food up here, so like cut up our veggies and stuff from the fridge. Um, I could just sit inside and do that. Um, but when it comes to the actual cooking part, we don't really want to cook inside for where we sleep. Um, so another thing we run here is our fly screen. So that's Top Gear To Go, an Australian company. Um, so we just got that online and they're actually made to fit the Troopy. Um, so they have a few different things that you can select from, um, like a zipper or magnets. So we just went with the magnets. So they roll down and just magnet together on the side. Um, it does have magnets as well to connect to the Troopy. Um, and then it just rolls back up. So then we've got our back doors here. Um, so this is our cooking side. So we have made a little table to go here. This is mainly for our cooking section. Um, so we've got our Nespresso machine, which we don't really use too much, oil, um, and then our coffee and cups. Other than that, we've got our OGS bags. So in this side, we keep bin bags and our cooker. Then we've got some spices and then our cutlery. We find it really easy to have it there. Um, you can just grab it. Um, we used to store it under here, which was a bit of a pain to get in and out every time. Um, so running them up here has just been a lifesaver. Up here we've got like a curtain line that we attached, um, thanks to our friends Cody and Elise. Um, so we run our paper towel and then just our tea towel. So it makes it really easy to grab these as well. And then a little drying rack. So then on this side, we just run our bottle opener and hook. So these are from Pineapple Traders. We run a little brush. Um, that we can just use to sweep out the troopy. Then we've got our other side of OGS bags. So this is mainly just toiletry stuff, sunscreen, all that kind of stuff that we keep on this side. Um, we run our dish bucket on this side and then we've got our victual. So we take little Polaroids everywhere we go um, just so we can have a little homely feel again in the troopy and we just hang them up the back. So up the front we also have our hat storage. Um, so we've just used some elastic and screws to go along the um, top into the roof and then we can just easily hang our hats here. So then up the top here we have our bed. So we do have the pop top conversion so our roof pops up and then we have a little gap here so we can slide in um, and then our bed is just up the top. So we've got up the top here um, 50ml of high density foam and then eggshells so that's what we sleep on. We find it really comfy um, and then we just leave our bedding up there except for our pillows which you've seen over here. Um, so that's pretty much all of our bedding stuff. And then we have our bed boards. So these are actually foldable. Um, so we can fold them all up and then stand up inside. Um, so luckily we're pretty sure we can actually stand in here without hitting our heads. Um, and then we do have quite a bit of room. 
Um, so we can fold all these up and then they can store up the front and we have heaps of room up here if the weather's not too good. Um, and then on our bedboards we just have our Australia map. So thanks to my sister and her partner, they got us this um, so we can see where we are, where we want to go, all that kind of thing. Um, we do actually want to port along where we've been so we can see it. Um, but yeah, we love our little map. Alright, so up the front of the trippy we have our centre console fridge. So this is the Oz Trail 15 litre console fridge. So inside here we mainly use it as storage. Um, we can fit pretty much like half a carton. So we chuck it in here. Um, we run it when we're driving um, or if we know that we want to have a few drinks in the Arvo. So we love having it in the middle. And it is nice and low so we can kind of climb through as well. We have our Yeti holder down the front here. Um, that is just a custom made box we covered it in vinyl and then we can fit out yeti bottles in there for our seats we swapped out our bench seat for 2020 troop carrier uh, gxl seats um, so we wanted a bit more comfort and to actually have some room in the middle so we did get rid of our bench and chucked these in they're super comfy we're so happy that we put them in um, we had to modify the front bracket of the passenger chair just slightly so it would fit But that's pretty much it. So it's pretty easy to swap in up the top here We have a bit of a homely touch again. Uh, we got some material from spotlight and chocolate up We saw it on someone else's trippy and loved the idea uh, So yeah, then we've got our gator mirror That's our reverse camera that we use um, so you can see the tinny behind us and keep an eye on it. Then along the front dash, we have our OG, OGS dash bag. Um, so that's so we can keep it kind of clean on our dash. So we chuck anything important in there um, that we need to grab easily. We just chuck it all in there. It keeps it nice and tidy. Um, then we've got a, just a bit more storage along the top. Um, Sunny's, my shell collection, all the important stuff. Um, and obviously Jay's hat collection. Uh, we run our HEMA. We don't really use that too much. Um, only if we're going really off grid and we can't use our maps, we'll chuck that on. The only other thing we've chucked in recently is our sunshade. Um, so we found that the dash was getting pretty hot and the reflection off the bonnet was really bad. Um, so we chucked that up just to keep it a bit cooler and a bit less glary in here. And then the other thing we have is our Savage Boost and the EGT gauges. Um, so they're just on the side there. And then on our doors, we have the Connect 4x4 Accessories armrest. So they just slot into your windowsill and your door card. So then behind the driver's seat, we just have a few extras that we um, need to have easy to kind of grab. So we've got some tools in here. Uh, we've got our vacuum cleaner. So Jay's got a Makita set. So we just have the Makita vacuum that slots on the back. Um, extra cables for like our shower, laptop, all that kind of stuff. Um, our battery pack. And we also have our first aid kit and snake bike kit. So it's really easy to grab off the back of the chair and they just Velcro to the chair there. Then behind the passenger seat is more storage. Uh, so behind here we keep some like cookbooks and stuff, drone, camera, esky, yoga mat that we never really use. Um, yeah, just extra stuff that we kind of want to grab easy enough, um, but we don't want to chuck it underneath. And yeah, that's about it. Um, probably our favorite thing up in the front is actually our fridge. We love having this. Um, if we are doing long drives, can just chuck some water in there, some food in there. So it's definitely been the best addition that we've added into the front here. And that's a wrap on the inside of the troops. Hope you have enjoyed part two of the rig rundown. Um, if you've got any questions or anything we haven't answered, feel free to chuck it down in the comments and we'll try and get onto it. If you want to see any of the build, how it sort of happened, we recorded it all on our Instagram and TikTok, so feel free to jump on there and have a sus. Next, we've got... The Turin Tinny. So we built this tinny for the trip around Australia. Um, we built the trailer and did a little bit of a fit out on the inside and that. So keep an eye out for that, won't be too far away. Um, but thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you have enjoyed Which Way with Jen and Jay. See you guys. Touring tinny. <laughs> Hope you guys love. Make sure to like and subscribe and share the love. You. <laughs> <laughs>